That's a pretty clever design. It just goes on top of your existing deadbolt. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we will check out the easiest install, peel and stick smart lock, the switch bot lock. And this just goes over your existing deadbolt. Now, if you're an apartment dweller or a renter and want a smart lock and not able or not allowed to change your deadbolt, this is the smart lock for you. We'll check out its features, do the quick peel and stick install, set it up and test its functions and see if the switch bot lock will be a good option for you. Now, I'm just learning the SwitchBot ecosystem and they started with their SwitchBot bot which a lot of people have been using for a while now. And they've been making a lot of other smart products and also diving into security cameras as well which I'll be reviewing it here also in the near future. Thank you SwitchBot for sending me this smart lock to be reviewed. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. This smart lock is designed so that it will be compatible to a lot of deadbolts in the market today. And if you pair this with SwitchBot's keypad and hub, which we'll also check out, there will be a lot of ways you can lock and unlock your door. You can use the app using Wi-Fi with a hub or just Bluetooth, use voice assistance, lock door. Okay, done. You can use the keypad. Use your registered fingerprint and even use the included NFC card. Plus, you can still use your regular existing deadbolt keys. It also has an auto lock feature which the lock will automatically lock and also give you an alert if you forget to lock your door. Now, if you want to be able to access your lock remotely and get notifications, you need the SwitchBot Hub which I got the mini hub. This is a multi-purpose hub and not only connects your switch bot devices to the internet but also any appliance you have that has an IR remote. But in this video, we'll just focus on connecting the smart lock to this hub. And inside the box, we have the hub itself, some paperwork, and a micro USB cable for power. To set this up, plug in the hub and download and log into the switch bot app. Click the plus sign and the hub should automatically show up. Click on it and long press the reset button for 3 seconds until the status lights rapidly blinks. Click next. Type in your Wi-Fi info and wait until it is connected. Time to open up the smart lock box. We have some paperwork. We have a wet wipe which you will need in the installation. We have the user manual. We have the smart lock body itself. Made of plastic but build quality is pretty good. We have the thumb turn and this is where we're going to put in the thumb turn adapter. Pulling this up, you will see the batteries. It uses two CR123A lithium batteries. And we have the mounting tape right here. It does come with three deadbolt adapters so that you can choose which will fit your existing deadbolt. This also comes with a magnetic sensor for the lock to know if your door is closed. Let's install this. Because I now don't have the regular deadbolts in the house, I'll be installing this in a door display that I have here. Plus, it will be easier to show and demo for you guys. You can stick this smart lock in different positions around your deadbolt like on top or on its side or the bottom. I'll put this one on top. With the included web wipe, wipe down the area where you're going to stick it to have a good adhesion. While we're waiting for it to dry, let's put in the deadbolt adapter. It comes with three different sizes and the middle one is a pretty good fit on my type of deadbolt. So just align the tabs and holes of the adapter to the lock and push it in until it clicks in place. SwitchBot also designed this connection to have some leeway on the movement to minimize torque on the main unit itself. There's one thing that we need to adjust though and this is how far we have to push out the lock from the deadbolt. If you remove the battery cover, we need to loosen these screws so that we can extend the attachment point of the lock. You can pull this out and find a position that the deadbolt adapter is not pushing into the thumb turn which can cause unnecessary friction. Screw that new position in. Peel off the mounting tape, align the smart lock to the thumb turns axis, and put it in and hold for a couple minutes to make sure the mounting tape will hold properly. You can try turning the thumb turn, making sure it works smoothly. Time to set this up in the app. Click the plus sign on the app, pull the battery tab, and the lock will be automatically found. Name your lock. Click next to connect it to the hub. Install the magnet in the door jam within 30 millimeters from the lock so as to know if the door is closed or not. Then we will calibrate the lock. Lastly, we will open up the keypad touch. We have the keypad itself. It is plastic but feels solid. 
This is weatherproof with an IP65 rating. It has a rubberized keypad and these numbers lights up at night. And we have the fingerprint sensor right here. On the back, we have the battery cover and we have the mounting plate that is made of metal. And we have the user manual. And we have an NFC card that can be set up to also open up the lock. You know, like in a hotel. Let's set this up. Install the two CR123A batteries on the back of the keypad. Click the plus sign in the app. Choose keypad touch. Long press the lock and OK buttons for two seconds. Click next. Name your keypad and pair it with your smart lock. Type in the test code and it should be synced up with your lock. Installing this keypad near the outside of your door is also pretty easy. You can screw it in, but to continue our screwless installation theme, I'll use the included double-sided mounting tape, which will stick to the mounting plate and stick to any smooth surface near the outside of your door. Push in the keypad to the mounting plate and push down to lock it in place. One cool thing about this keypad is that when somebody tries to remove it from the mount, like when I use the included push pin and push it into the hole on the bottom, which will release the keypad, it will then trigger the tamper alarm and notifying me that the keypad has been tampered with. Let's check out some of the settings in the app. And you probably think that just because it is a peel and stick smart lock, it probably is missing some features. Well, it actually has more features than other fully involved smart locks. When you open up the app, you will see your connected devices. Click on the smart lock and you will see the status of the lock and tap on it to unlock, which it responds pretty quick. And you also get a notification that it was unlocked. Tap it again to lock and you also get another notification that it was locked. In the logs, you will see the history of the events of the smart lock. Click the gear icon to get to the settings. You can set the notifications and on the alert, it has a door ajar alert and also a left unlocked warning. And you can set the time it will trigger. It also has an auto lock feature and also you can set the elapsed time before it locks. And we have some more settings that you can set. Let's go to the keypad which you can also access from here. In here, you can add or delete passcodes. Click the plus sign to add and you can choose permanent, temporary, one time or emergency. We'll set a permanent one. Type in a six to 12 digit code and click next and save. Now one cool thing about this is you can type in random numbers before and or after your passcode to prevent someone from memorizing your code. You can save up to 100 user codes. Next is you can add fingerprints. Click the plus sign and choose also from permanent, temp or emergency and click start adding. And put in your finger in the sensor in different angles until it is properly saved. And now you can use your fingerprint to unlock the lock. You can save up to 100 fingerprints. Now we have the NFC card and click the plus sign to add. And I'll choose permanent and just place the card close to the keypad and it will be programmed. And now you can use the card to open up the lock like you're going to a hotel room. Overall, this smart lock is a pretty good option, especially if you're not able and don't want to mess with your existing deadbolt or you want to keep your existing keys. And if you live in a rental property or an apartment and you want a smart lock for security or convenience, this is a pretty good option. I like that it has all the features that I need for a smart lock and then some. And if you decide to move to another rental or apartment, you can just remove it and probably you will need some elbow grease to remove the glue residue, but you don't have to mess with unscrewing, aligning, or readjusting your door or deadbolt. Anyways, that's it for this video and let me know if you've been using SwitchBot products and your experience with them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.